That's all positive about my golden crown, eh? That's all positive about my golden crown, eh? All right, we are officially on our way, and just as I use a seatbelt to protect my physical health, I also use Surfshark VPN, who is sponsoring today's video, to protect my personal data. So I have so much data on my phone. I make transactions, I make phone calls, I have so many logins, it's pretty crazy. And to think that I'm often using public Wi-Fi and or even my cellular Wi-Fi to do so and not being protected, really got to me a little while ago. And with all this crazy situations that was going on, I started getting a VPN, and that's what I decided on Surfshark. Why did I get Surfshark? Because it's unlimited devices, I can use it on my phone, on my computer, and also my family's using it. They're more so using it to watch Netflix in different countries, such as America and Europe, whereas I'm using it not only to save money, because when I book flights, from a Canadian website, often I actually pay a lot more than an American website. So I can change my location using my VPN to save money. It also saves me cellular data because it will block all of those little targeted ads. So I get to block ads, I get to save time, save money, and protect my personal data all in one. It's kind of a no-brainer. Currently right now, if you use my code Joel H, link in the description, click on that right now. Not only will you get 84% off and an extra month free, but there's a 30 day money back guarantee. That was enough to sell me on it and I actually fell in love with it. So that everybody, check it out, protect yourselves and let's get back to the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, it's very windy, but we are at the Mecca, Golden Corral. Super excited here with my good friends, Mr. George Lobianco and George Lobianco. So let's head on in and see what we can do. We're gonna have some fun. Hopefully they let me record. If not, I'm gonna be disappointed. We're gonna make it work anyway. But uh, let's go eat some Golden Corral. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, and before we start, I just have a special announcement, so let me get on my special announcement accent going on. So everybody, I just wanted to say, somebody recently said that I lost my passion. Well, I want to tell you, if you think I lost my passion, you ain't been watching my videos. Do you understand? And not just that. Then at the same time, I have some people saying that I am so passionate about my food that it seems overly sexual, and it seems sexual. Well, I have to tell you, if your love life is less exciting than the way that I look at food, one, I feel sorry for your partner, because that is a direct insult to them. And two, I feel very sorry for you, because you should have somebody that looks at you even better than I look the way at food. And I tell you what, they better dang, uh, I better stop there. So with that, everybody, let's get into the video. If you think I lost my passion, you ain't been watching it. And for those who think I'm too passionate, boy, oh boy, you just ain't been eating enough. So here we are at my favorite chain restaurant. Yes, officially decided my favorite chain restaurant, large chain, being Golden Corral. So Golden Corral, if you're not familiar, is a buffet chain. Um, they have lots of different types of food. I'm going to say it's kind of like southern-ish based, or at least there's a lot of like southern influence. I don't know if I want to say soul food, but there's lots of like emphasis on like barbecued items. Um, you have like a lot of fried chicken, you have some banana pudding, you know, just kind of like a big a catfish, like a big emphasis on some items that you generally see in the southern United States. Of course, you know, that does not mean they don't have a lot of other items which are everywhere in the world, such as like broccoli, for example, and hamburgers, and so many awesome desserts, including one of my absolute favorite additions that they have which is the uh, chocolate fondue fountain with lots of strawberries. Um, that is a uh, burger right there, and it was damn good. I want to tell you that, everybody. 
onion rings with Mr. George. Everything was freaking awesome and I love this place. And no, because for some reason people think that if I tell them that I like a place, they say, are you being sponsored? Are you being paid by them? And I promise you, I paid for my meal today and Golden Corral unfortunately is not giving me anything for making this video or sponsoring them. But I pray to God that they will in the future because I would damn near love it. In fact, anybody here looking for a husband, any ladies down in the United States of America where Golden Corral is home, you know, we can always work it out. I have, uh, there was like the, the 90 day, uh, you know, A1 marriage visas. So ladies, start sending your damn applications now. My DMs are open and I want to go to Golden Corral. Oh, good stuff, everybody. All right. Now, let's get into the food. I've, uh, I can tell food really does excite me sometimes. And I tell you, especially, especially talking about Golden Corral, it, uh, it's no different. So with all that excitement and passion, we kind of skipped over at least talking about what I ate on my first plate, so I'll very briefly do that. On my first plates, I had some pulled pork. Yes, they do have a pulled pork, and it is smoked of some nature, which is delicious. Then I had a lot of broccoli on my first plate. Um, that was mostly it. I mean, I did, then I had a salad on my other plate there, but mostly, again, just kind of emphasis on the veggies, a little bit of meat at that point. Here I'm trying some meatloaf because George said the meatloaf was really good, and it was good. It was solid. Um, what I really like about the pulled pork, so the first time I had it was kind of dry. The second time it was a new batch, so it was fresh. It was moist, which was delicious. And they also um, do have some barbecue sauces. Uh, so I put on some barbecue sauce. I think I used the smoky or smokehouse one. Um, so just like the pulled pork with a little bit of sauce. It is damn good. I also uh, had some collard greens um, with pork or like basically ham the first uh, plates as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So now on to the second. Um, again, pulled pork, barbecue sauce. Then on the other plate, I have some fried chicken. I do really like fried chicken. Um, and I also have some, um, that right there, the darker meat, which was on the thing. It was, um, oh, what was it called? It was some kind of chicken, um, some kind of flavored chicken. Uh, I forget exactly what it was called, but it was good. Um, it was like, it was very, it was like quite salty. Uh, I want to say it's called like a bourbon chicken or something like that. Any regulars who go to Golden Crow, comment below if you know what that chicken was called. Um, and just comment below if you've ever been to Golden Crow, because if you haven't, you definitely need to, in my opinion. Um, and then on my other plate here, again, besides fried chicken, I had some uh, green beans, a big whack, whack a pile of green beans. Again, I love to eat big, but if you guys don't know or haven't noticed yet, I do also put an emphasis on my health. So yes, it is being happy, healthy, and hungry. All of those things in moderation, all collectively together. <laughs> I left just the sound of that chicken because you could hear it was crispy. It was very crispy. Um, in fact, every time I've ever been to Golden Corral, they always have their fried chicken on point. Um, so I uh, do like my fried chicken with hot sauce. Um, here they didn't have hot sauce right on the table, so I opted for ketchup. Yes, you're going to see me using ketchup on fried chicken. I absolutely love both items, so they're a great combination for me to go together. I do like hot sauce. Again, just wasn't on the table. You can get it by request, um, but kind of a mix between the restaurant being busy and just maybe where we were seated. Our server was kind of there very, very sporadically um, and very, very briefly, really just to grab plates. Um, and so we just, well, and then we were, were also making sure that we also had enough water. Um, we kind of, well, I like to drink a lot. We all like to drink a lot. So kind of keeping up with that water was even just a, a bit of a job itself. So in case you are not familiar, I'm here with my good friend, Mr. George Lobianco, who is on my right, your left. And then his father, his name is also George Lobianco. Uh, so George and George which uh, George's father often comes out to support us and whenever we do our little eating events in the area. Um, he's a great guy. I have to give him a huge shout out. Really appreciate him uh, not only coming along with us, um, you know, but again, really good guy, very supportive. Really appreciate him as well as my good friend George there. Um, lots of fun with these gentlemen. Always have a good time eating. And that's what we were doing here. We were just having a good time eating. And I, that's exactly what I think Golden Corral is made for. Often there's big families in there, big groups, and it's just have a good time eating a lot of food. Uh, 
Let's go out and some more of the, the pulled pork. Got some more. We got a barbecue chicken there. Uh, and there's some that pot roast. Very famous. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's called Joe the Model and Marco. They're both crazy. I think they're crazy. They're YouTube. Like to eat. There's this really nice group of ladies beside us who I guess were like an a cappella gospel band of some sort. Um, so, you know, we had a good chat with them talking about eating. Um, George was telling them about, you know, I do YouTube videos and how me and George often have some interesting and large eat feats. Um, and they actually even like basically were like, hey, well, we want to sing for you guys. We want to show you what we do. Um, so that's going to come up here momentarily. And I believe, if I remember correctly, they called themselves the Gospel Ets. So I don't know how you'd spell that, but apparently they are on Facebook. So the Gospel Ets, and you'll hear them momentarily. Uh, so this is kind of my third round of plates. I went again for my pulled pork, like that stuff. I went with the barbecue chicken. I had some more broccoli. I really like the broccoli. I had some cauliflower. Um, I usually, I mean, cauliflower is okay. I just grabbed some just to grab some. And of course, I went back to that good old fried chicken, which was very crispy, very delicious. Um, this was a Saturday, yeah, Saturday at lunchtime. Um, kind of an off lunchtime, though. I think it was around 2 p.m. So kind of like just after the lunch rush. But things were still coming out hot. Um, there's that barbecue chicken there, which I mean, more or less was just a chicken thigh with barbecue sauce on it. But I mean, chicken is still pretty damn good even when it's okay, if that makes sense. So it was good. So yeah, that was cool, like kind of a neat uh, little taste of what these ladies did. I'm um, obviously something they're very passionate about and I'm very much in support of supporting others and whatever they want to do and what they're passionate about. And I would definitely encourage you whenever you go out to restaurants, it always adds to the experience. Try looking around, try saying hello to the person beside you, try, you know, talking to somebody new, even just asking, you know, the, the, the server how their day is, you know, and actually inquiring, like, like, how's it been? Like, you know, what's going on? Um, you, you never know what you're going to expect. I promise you it won't. Well, hopefully, I shouldn't promise you that. It probably won't end badly. But I feel comfortable saying likely it'll be beneficial and a good experience. So yeah, always have an open mind and I guess you could even say like an open heart to individuals. Um, again, we all have different endeavors, we all are in different places at different times, so yeah, just hey, you never know where somebody's at, um, you can never read a book by its cover, so always just approach things with common courtesy, empathy, and uh, you know, that's why we're happy, um, that's why we're healthy, both mentally, physically, and hungry, not just being hungry in the regards of I really enjoy food, but hungry in regards to wanting more, wanting the best life you can live. And that is partially up to you. You do make decisions for yourself, so I wish you a lovely, successful life. Of course, back to this fried chicken, which was just as crispy and delicious as the first time. So George is a thigh guy, leg guy. I'm up, I'm up above the breast. So I was saying George is a, George is a leg guy. I'm up, I'm up a breast guy. Yeah. And I do like breasts. Chicken breasts. And I do like other parts of the chicken as well. Uh, I like everything. You know, I'm, I'm not a very per, uh, particular or picky eater if you haven't realized that. So on these plates here, got some more barbecue, got some meat, some pot roast, and some more veggies. If you've watched any of my other videos, you uh, will understand that generally, I, of course, I like to try a large variety of items, but if I find an item I like, I like to stick with it. So again, that item today that I was very much enjoying was kind of that pulled pork with a little bit of that barbecue sauce. Absolutely delicious. Of course, I had to throw in some baked beans because 
you know, you just gotta have a little bit of beans. I was really liking the broccoli as well, steamed broccoli. I like I like broccoli. Um, I got some more uh, some more meatloaf there. I got some more green beans. Um, I also again uh, on and off I've had um, pot roast. They have a pot roast there that they uh, that they have. I believe it's, it's literally called something along the lines of like delicious, the most delicious pot roast or something. There's the meatloaf, um, and I was really enjoying it all. Like. I've been to Golden Corral now three times in my life, and every time has been a positive experience. Um, the second time I went, admittingly, they told me I couldn't film, so I wasn't overly too pumped about that. But the first time, I was there with my parents. It was lovely. My mother is a big Golden Corral uh, fan. In fact, she often tells me, she's like, Joel, I wish we could go to Golden Corral. So next time she comes to visit, um, I really do want to go to a Golden Corral with her. It's something that this sounds hilarious, but we both kind of like buffets. She does not eat half as much as I do or anything near as I do, but we both like buffets and we both like Golden Corral. That's all positive about my Golden Corral, right? Only positive. I love this place. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Send it out. Send it out. Tag Golden Corral. If you look there, there's a thing that says pose, post, whatever. Okay. Oh, right there. Put the hashtag. There's a hashtag to it. Yeah, Corral your pals. Just put it in your EPA in there. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. that was, we would appreciate it as well. It works well for us. Yeah, absolutely. No, we uh, very much enjoyed it so far. Excellent. Thank you so much. So who would have thought I actually would have got confronted by the owner for recording and eating here today? So that was the owner um, who, as you can see, was a very nice gentleman. Earlier, he was actually kind of in the same room doing some kind of, I don't know if they were interviews, like hiring interviews or some kind of employee education or talk. He was talking to somebody who is obviously soon to be employed there. Um, but anyway, yeah, he was supportive of the video, supportive of us eating a lot of food, and uh, I was as well. How are you making out? It's stuffed. You're stuffed? Yeah. It's a good food. Yeah. You know where it's at. So I know you heard me mention earlier how much I love the chocolate fondue and the strawberries. And I, of course, love the other desserts. They have some really nice desserts here as well. So again, went back with the broccoli, that pulled pork, and those are things like I call the, the real foods, the salt, the, the non-dessert foods that I was very much enjoying. Um, I just love smoky meats. I, sm I smoke my own meats, like my pulled pork. And uh, this one was good. Like, it's a real smoked um, pulled pork. And I got another burger, too. The burgers were great. They were making them just, like, off the, uh, off the, the, the grill thingy thing. Um, but I love smoked meats. And this was real smoked pulled pork. It wasn't just, like, something done in a crock pot or a pot. It was smoked, and it was delicious. You're stuffed, too, because you're, uh, you're full. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> the pancakes in Virginia so today. Yeah. You're going to take a nap on me in the car, aren't you? You're going to go. George and George are both pretty full. Uh, at this point, I was just kind of getting to dessert. So what I do is, I again, you see, I kind of started to stockpile some of my strawberries because I really do uh, like to have a couple pounds of strawberries every time I come here. And I take the fondue with me. So what you're going to see here is, again, I start to uh, assemble my ingredients. I start to pick up the items I want, which really I mean the only one I usually do is strawberry. And usually I'll do pineapple as well, um, that being the items I dip in the fondue. I didn't get any pineapple this time, actually, though, but I do really like pineapple. Um, and then I take a little dish like that, intended for ice cream, and I put it under the fondue dish. So I have my own kind of dish of fondue chocolate right in front of me. So I have my own personal fondue. And then of course I just dip all my lovely delectable strawberries in. I really do love chocolate covered strawberries. Um, I love f fruit in general to be honest, but I mean, if, I, if you love strawberries, which I do, and you love chocolate, which I do, and you put them together, well, it's just a lovely experience. Let's just say that, uh, lovely. Um, and then I had some other desserts there as well. One of my other favorite desserts they have at Golden Corral is the chocolate cream pie. Um, I, it was actually the funny, funny thing. The first time I went to a Golden Corral was the first time I've ever had a chocolate pie or a chocolate cream pie. I feel it's just not something I grew up with. In fact, like I only knew of chocolate pies or chocolate cream pies from my friends in the United States. So I'm not sure if that's more of a United States thing. Um, I don't want to generalize, but in my opinion, in my experience, it is more of a United States item. Then I have some banana pudding. I love banana pudding as well. Again, an item that I, again, did not grow up with and was only 
uh, familiar with or became familiar with it because of my love of southern cooking, of southern cuisine, of barbecue, um, etc. So again, I feel kind of a little bit more of an American thing, both of those desserts, but I very, very much enjoy them. And this is me getting into this uh, this chocolate uh, chocolate pie now. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's like thick, lovely, almost chocolate fudge filling gooeyness, and then like a pie crust and whipped cream. Like, come on, like, you can't go wrong. Good apples here. There's banana pudding. This, this, is, this, is, this surprised me. It's actually that good, huh? It's really good, yeah. Mm. <laughs> as far as their banana pudding, it's definitely solid. It's not the best I've had, definitely not the worst. It seems like it's actually, it's not just like a pudding mix made out of a box. Um, and there's real bananas in it, the vanilla wafers, all that good stuff, lots of whipped cream. You know, again, just how can you go wrong? Especially with, you know, again, these chocolate covered strawberries, which I love. Um, so if you guys wanted the cost, um, lunchtime was about $10, which we were at this time, so it's about 10 bucks. Um, I think that's very affordable and worthwhile, especially to what we got. And then lunch, or sorry, dinner then is about 14 or $15. So $10 for lunch, 14, $15 for supper, um, no complaints. And at this point, our visit was coming to an end. I didn't want to keep George and George waiting too much, so... Okay. Tell Joe the time you got ready. The guy came up there, the kid that owns it. Hey, hey aren't you and you two with Joe Hanson all the time? He goes, that's me. <laughs> I finished up my banana pudding, and then, of course, my chocolate cream pie, or chocolate pie, which, again... You know, in all reality, I really wish I could go to Golden Corral right now. All the restaurants are currently closed with the whole COVID-19 quarantine thing, and I wish I could go to Golden Corral, tell you that much. And then I, of course, went for um, some ice cream here you're going to see momentarily. I will admit their uh, kind of ice cream they have at Golden Corral, it is a, um, it is like a, I mean, you can call it a soft serve. They do have like a hard ice cream as well, but I'm actually not a big fan of their soft serve ice cream here. It doesn't really seem like ice cream. I call it more like ice milk. Um, like a very, I don't know, it's not creamy. It's really different. Um, that's the one thing that, I mean, I enjoy to an extent, but I'm not the biggest fan of their uh, soft serve ice cream there. But I mean, when you put caramel on it and cookies and all that other stuff, like it's really good. Um, carrot cake was, was, it was okay. Um, but definitely my favorite desserts are that uh, fondue, of course, the strawberry fondue really like the chocolate uh, cream pie. Um, they'll even make you cotton candy, which is kind of cool. I didn't get any this time. Again, the ice cream's not that bad. Um, you can go for the hard ice cream or the soft ice cream. Um, I have, I, or like the banana pudding. Um, I don't know what else I've tried. I've tried a few of their like different desserts. Um, and generally, again, they're, they're all pretty good. I mean, pretty solid. It's like, it's Golden Corral. Everything's pretty solid. So uh, yeah, at that everybody, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. Hope you enjoyed this trip to Golden Corral. Um, I hope to all see you at a Golden Corral one day. And remember, everybody, you know, if you ever want to take me anywhere, you feel free to take me to Golden Corral. But in all seriousness, I'll take this uh, opportunity to say I really do appreciate everybody's uh, support, your viewership. I really do uh, love it when you guys comment, give me suggestions, give me your feedback about videos, about things going on in the world. Um, I really love hearing from you, and I really do appreciate it. I really, really do. I hope you guys know that you all are a big part of my life, um, just as big of a part of life as food is. I mean, you can't go food without YouTube, and my YouTube doesn't go without my food, so they're all pretty intertwined. But seriously, everybody, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Hope you have a lovely day, a lovely week. And of course, like I said, stay happy, healthy, and hungry. And of course, happy eating. <laughs>